Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm really excited to get back into this game. I am really enjoying it, and I am excited to see what else the game has to offer. We're just getting started in this game. I am currently level 12. We have a long way to go. So much more to explore. If you look at the map, it's huge. It is a very, very big map, and I have only explored a little teeny tiny part of it. So I'm very excited to see what is out there. For this episode, I think we're going to run up here to Black Bear Lodge and uh, repair their terminal. And it looks like there might be a little path here that we could take up there. Uh, we'll come up here and see what's going on up here. And then, uh, depending upon what we find or what we don't find, maybe we will head on over here uh, to Prickett's Fort to see if we can't fix their token dispenser. But I am over encumbered. What's new Oh, hey, look. What's up? We used to rent oh. guns and ammo, but now customers have to bring their own. Huh. This is the shooting range attendant. <laughs> I didn't realize that this is where I was standing. Customers are limited to three cans of beer when shooting. Well, I can interact with him, sort of. It's not really interacting now, is it? I can press a button and he says something. Um, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I wish I had a, um... I wish I had somebody to talk to, man. I'm so lonely out here. There's nobody to talk to. You know, somebody in the comments had a really interesting thought uh, that I hadn't thought of. You guys may have thought of it. But uh, their thought was, well, the reason that um, there are no humans, there are no NPCs, is because they're all dead. And we, you know, dwellers of Vault 76, are the first people to, um, you know, venture back out into the world. You know, everybody else is dead. We're the only ones alive. We need to repopulate the Earth. Well, us and the people coming out of all of the other um, uh, vaults. I thought that was a pretty interesting idea. Although, um, to that I would say, well, where are the other people from Vault 76? That's what I would want to know. Uh, but I kind of like that idea. That, uh, yeah, there are no human NPCs to talk to. They're all dead. Everybody's dead. That was, that was pretty smart. Uh, let me uh, scrap all of my junk. Uh, scrappity scrap. Junkity junk. That does not get me anywhere near down to where I want to go to. Huh. This one is interesting. This thing does a ton of damage, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and scrap it for now. And let me scrap a few other things. Um, ooh, I've got this po pocketed painted metal left leg. I don't remember when I got that. Got these hunting rifles that I'm going to dump off. And the shotgun, which I'm going to save till later. I just want to get my inventory down. Um, hmm, I have this Raider right leg armor that I can't use either, so let's go ahead and get rid of it to, to free up some space. This metal left leg has a damage resist of 11, and the left leg that I'm currently using is an 8. So let's go ahead and scrap this, and then we will go here and... Uh, equip that other piece of uh, armor that we've got. This pocketed... Oh, I have two le left legs. I have two left legs. I didn't realize that. Well, let's let's use the metal one. It's interesting to me how... Wait a minute. Now, this one has a weight of 2.93. This one has a weight of 3. The weight is almost exactly the same. Uh, but this one offers quite a bit more damage resist. Not electric resist, but much more damage resist. So let's do that and uh, let's uh, get rid of this other left leg. I don't need two of them. Okay, we got our weight down to a fairly manageable amount. So, um, oh, what is that thing? Nascent Snallygaster? What? Level 14 Nascent Snallygaster. Okay, that's pretty... Pretty scary. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> let me look at the map. Is this the way I want to go? No, it's not. Good. <laughs> we will uh, maybe encounter the Snallygaster at some other point, but not now. If I can avoid it, I'm going to. Luckily, this range is not in use because that was a very dangerous move I just did. Running across the range like that. So where is this road that I see on the map? Well, according to this, I'm on the road. Not really seeing it, though. That house over there is looking pretty interesting, though. Wouldn't you agree? Maybe we'll take a little detour over to this house. See if we can't get in it. I tell you what, though. 
So, uh, all right, I'm just going to talk about how I feel about the game as I play it, you know. I just am. Uh, not, not everything I say is going to be good. Um, but one thing that... So what, what I love about these, these types of games, and Fallout specifically, I love exploring. I love coming in here, finding this, and finding this, and, you know, looking in these houses and picking up scrap and stuff like that. But this game, um, unfortunately, kind of takes the fun out of that since I'm, I'm, you know, I'm so early in the game and I'm already fighting with the inventory issue. Um, I, I feel like I'm always overweight. <laughs> Uh, and, um, so it, 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 it kind of tempers the excitement of exploring. Because why explore if you're not going to pick crap up, right? Uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, perhaps I just simply need to, uh, figure out a way to manage my inventory better. You know, maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's not the game's fault at all. Uh, but I must say that I do feel like... Uh, the game should allow me to store more things in my stash. And, you know, uh, they're working on it. Uh, you know, they, they, developers say they are working on it. Ooh, fox hide. Oh, a rabbit hide. Whoa. What's going on over here? Soot flower. Well, I keep finding toxic soot flower. Is there anything, any soot flower that's not toxic? And the reason I ask is because I need some regular old soot flower uh, to craft some uh, healing salve. Uh, but all, all I'm finding is toxic soot flower. I hear something. There must be more rats in here, probably, than there are. I feel bad about killing a pup. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Killed your pup. feel bad about it, but, you know, he was baring his teeth at me. It was his fault. He started it. Cram for instant food relief. Food relief? I don't know. Hunger relief. That's what I meant to say. Well, that is a strange place for a bathroom. <laughs> I mean... Being under the stairs isn't strange, I guess, but the fact that there's no door there is pretty weird. You know, you just sit on the couch watching TV while, you know, someone's in there doing their business. Probably not the best way to go about watching TV or doing your business, for that matter. So, you know, a lot of this stuff I'm just going to leave behind um, because I don't really have the uh, inventory space for it. I'm just going to pick up interesting or useful things. Ah! I fall through the hole. All right. Well, there you have it. That was a, that was a house. A house on the edge of Clarksburg. All right. Well, here at least we could see the uh, road now. Uh, one thing that I'm going to say is a little disappointing. Also, is the pop in. You know, as I walk around, you see, you know, things pop in. Uh, as I walk towards them. I've got a pretty powerful computer. I don't feel like that kind of thing should be happening on this computer. I didn't spend all this money on this computer for there to be pop-in in my games. But, uh, I don't know if that's related to the online-ness or not. But it is a little annoying. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not a it's not a game-breaker. It doesn't... It's not going to make me stop playing the game, but uh, it is a little annoying. A carrot? I'll take that. Burnt Unstoppables comic. Can I find a non-Burnt Unstoppables comic, please? I have to imagine at some point we are going to learn what the heck is up with these petrified dudes. Okay, that's the kind of stuff that I like to find right there. Whoa. You got some uh, gunfire going on there. Sometimes when I hear that I like to look at my um, map to see if there's any humans running around, but there's not, so this tells me that this is probably a scorched oh, hi why, why, did, why, why why, just leave me alone no, you just, uh, you know you come in here, teeth blazing blazing, blaring your teeth and what do you expect me to do I bought. So, so you think somebody's shooting at an iBot up there, maybe? Boy, I really wish I had some binoculars. I wish I could zoom in and look. Is there a way to do that? Will Is that something that I will learn how to do at some point? Let me know. You guys always seem to have the answers. <laughs> do you have the answers because you're playing the game and you're just way ahead of me? Uh, do you have the answers because you're reading about the game? How do you, how do you guys know what you know? 
I frankly don't have time to read about the game. If I'm not playing the game, I'm either editing, you know, uh, my gameplay or, you know, posting it on YouTube. It's a lot of work. Hello, Blue Garden Gnome. I feel like I should be collecting those or something, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I... Oh, 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 it's doing that again. I, um, yeah, I don't really have a lot of free time. Like I said, if I'm not playing, I'm editing or, you know, putting it up on YouTube or, you know, working or spending time doing other things besides playing games. What the hell? Look at all these iBots up here. What's up, iBots? You know, I tell you what, you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Do we have an agreement? No, we don't. Ah, I missed you. Okay, I'm not... Oh, I think I got one of them. These flying things are freaking hard to hit. They are really hard to hit. <laughs> freaking iBot gang. Boy, he's way up there. Wait a minute, that's a Protectron. What the hell, Protectron? What are you doing, man? You're not protecting me. Is there something else that's hitting me, too? What the? He hit me? Man, come on, let's take this loser out. I'm tired of this. He's still hitting me, even though I'm hiding behind this. He's hitting me a lot. Uh, okay. I'm, I sure would like to hit him. We'll get him. Don't worry. Oh, oh, he went behind there. Where are you going, Protectron? He's a smoking. Nice. All right, let's see if we get any goodies from these uh, iBots over here, if I can find them. It's pretty weird how... Uh, and I kill things, it just totally blends in with the ground. I mean, there were a bunch of iBots down here. Here's a couple of them. Steel scrap. Steel scrap. There's two. Three. Four. Are there more than four? It might have been all of them. Stupid iBots. A lot of beer bottles around here. This is like a... I don't know what this is. I was gonna... I thought maybe it was like a hot tub kind of thing. And maybe it is. It's just got a lid on it. I guess that's what that is. It's a hot tub. Let's go over here and see if we can't loot this, uh, Protectron. What's up? Why you gotta... Why you gotta be like that? Lead scrap, that's kinda cool. Oh, I hear a radio, so I'm gonna talk while I walk in here and turn off the radio. Okay, good. Plan, domestic tables. Well, this is a nice little place somebody's got here. And I'm just totally robbing them. Should put a lock on your door, man. Imitation seafood. Some snack cakes. Somebody's cooking. Here is a recipe for steeped strangler pod tea. Oh man, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. Uh, Cajun rice and beans. And a bobby pin box. Buff out. I'm actually starting to feel a little bad now. This guy's got some good stuff in here and I'm just taking it. I'm not thinking that this is like another human's camp. I'm just saying that whatever um, game... Well, I, you know... It, if I'm going with the story that everybody else is dead, well, then I shouldn't feel bad, you know? Everybody else is dead. There's... This stuff is just sitting here. And I shouldn't feel bad for taking it. This guy doesn't have a refrigerator. What's going on over here? Government aid drop. Look at all this stuff. Oh, I'm thirsty. Huh. Cargo bot wreckage, interesting. Okay, I'm a thirsty dog, so let me um, take a drink of something here. What do I got? I've got carrot flower nectar. There, and I'm no longer thirsty, but I'm almost hungry too, so let's eat some of this cooked soft shell meat, and we'll have a little bit of apples too. Sure, why not? 
it is so hard to go from point A to point B in this game for me because I'm like, hey, what's that over there? Oh, hey, let's go check this out. Hey, what's this? But, you know, why play the game if you're not going to do that? Oh, I can't climb ladders in this game? Stupid game. Zero stars. Uh, let's keep uh, walking in this direction. See that pop in there? How that building just popped in like that? I demand better performance. Ooh, bunch of rads. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Well, there's water here. Let's avoid it. Yeah, every soot flower I find is toxic. Is there a way to make a non-toxic soot flower, I wonder? Am I not going to find them in the wild? Uh, let's see, look at my notes here. I've got um, plan for domestic tables. Okay, I must already know that recipe for this. Okay, we're close to two things here. Huh. Uh, where did this talk to the Huntmaster, the Huntmaster of Black Bear Lodge come from? I don't remember this popping up. Is this a daily? It is. Talk to the Huntmaster of Black Bear Lodge. Okay, so there's a daily thing here. I hope this daily one is better than the last daily one. I mean, if you saw that episode where we went to, um, like, Hemlock Holes or something like that. And basically just ran around and collected some meat and vegetables for this sh chef robot, this robot chef. It was not the most exciting of quests, I'm here to tell you. But it wouldn't be surprising to me if this one was similar. Hmm. Oh. Whoa, there's a... Oh, it's a Scorchedy. I'll be zigged when I thought he was going to zag. Oh man, he fell through. Oh, I fell off. Where'd he go? Here he is. Uh, I'll take the rounds. I'll take it all. Combat rifle, man. Now that's gonna be fun to use once I can use it. It's gonna be great once I can start using uh, weapons that do more damage. Okay. Hmm, how do I get over there? Let's see if we can go around. I hear somebody walking around. Quiet. Nuka Cola. That's nice to find. Don't see that much of that around here. Mac and cheese and some cram. Insta mash. This is all stuff that we could eat. Instant stuff to eat. It's good to find. Good to have. It doesn't go bad. Guess he's upstairs, maybe? Well, there's a terminal that I'm looking for. We'll get to that. Don't worry. I need to take out these uh, freaking... Whoa! Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was very... Whew. What the... Oh, I'm actually going to play the piano. I'm actually going to sit down and play the piano. Hey, I'm not bad. If this gives me a, a copyright notice, I'm going to remove it. <laughs> I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> so... Early in the game, we sat down and we started playing the guitar, and it said something about playing instruments gives you something, gives me skill or something, I don't know. So apparently sitting here playing this piano, there we go, you feel well-tuned. I don't know what well-tuned means, but uh, thank you very much. And the audience goes wild. So I fell through a hole, whoa, fell through a hole there. That's okay. It's interesting. Collection of uh, 
So, whoever lived here, lived here, you know, after the bombs dropped and they were able to collect all these trophies of the mutated creatures. Somebody's already been into this safe. A beer hat. All right, I, I'm not going to take the beer hat. Sorry. Um, well, I'm just going to help myself to this stuff. I am way over encumbered again. Oh, wow. Uh, shortening. Ooh, I, th I was thinking that was food I could eat. I didn't realize I was picking up shortening. So much stuff I wish I could pick up. Man, you could even go further down? Holy cow. Surprise. Looked like he even reached around to grab his back. You know? Huh, another one around here somewhere. Man, I gotta scratch my ear. Hopefully I won't get attacked while I'm scratching my ear. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's all good. You guys were worried about me. Toolbox. Let's unlock this while um, some scorched run around behind me. Uh, duct tape and gunpowder. We'll take that. Thank you. No, no, no. I keep uh, pressing escape to back out of this, but I don't have to do that. Just a habit for some reason. Detective case file. Ooh, this is like fun. Huh? Okay, I took it. Now I don't look at it. Item. Uh, notes. Hmm. Okay, I don't see. Do you see detective case file? Um. Did I ever look at this letter to the media? I, th I don't know if I did. Hold on now. Is it a hollow? It's not a hollow. Is it a miscellaneous? It's not a miscellaneous. So what, what did I just pick? Is it just junk? Junk. Detective case file. It's junk. And it's... Okay. Well, that's kind of lame. Uh, letter to the media. Did I read this? Uh, yes. We did read this. We did indeed. Rounds. Pick this stuff up. Look at all the stuff this guy's got on him. Night vision, severe handmade something. <laughs> Look how over encumbered I am. It's ridiculous. Oh, here is a uh, the, uh, holotape. The Addington's Dangerous Game. Is this something I put in a terminal or is this something that I look at here? The Addington's Dangerous Game. Let's see what this is. Well, another hunting scene. Yes, we should start packing up the lodge. Yes, I suppose we should. What's the problem? This was a great season. I know. It's just, well, it's getting quite boring. We had the same thing every year. Oh my god! Then what do you want? If you have something to say, then spit it out already. All right. Before you judge, hear me out. What if we hunted something new? Something that was a real challenge for a change. Something that could fight back. We circulate an advertisement offering a free weekend at the lodge. People will have no idea what they're really getting into. It's perfect. Wait, are you talking about hunting humans? Ah, don't act so surprised. You know it makes sense. I can see it on your face. Well, do you really think we can get away with it? With our wealth, dear brother, we can get away with anything. Hmm. Well, I think we all knew where that was going right from the start, right? Oh, I'm so bored of hunting animals. I need to hunt something more dangerous. Holy... Oh, gosh, dude. Golly, man. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? Ooh, that was like, the scariest thing I've seen in the game so far. And what is... So I guess these guys did, in fact, hunt humans, right? I mean, is that what we're looking at here? This is where they... I don't know. Did whatever it was it was they wanted to do to the humans. I don't know. So this guy came in here. 
Oh, okay. Um, I love how other people just ignore me like I ignore them. I love it. Oh, way up here. Plasma grenade. I'll take that. Um, man, I was really hoping that, uh... Oh, ammo. Ammunition vending machine? Oh, look at this business. Ooh, okay. Check this out. Huh, for some reason... Dude, for some reason, um, I can't, uh... Boy, that's right in my ear. <laughs> I can't sell anything. Look, why can't I sell any of this stuff? I mean, maybe I have some ammo that I'm not using that I'd like to sell. Huh, that's kind of disappointing. Um, look at him over there. Like, uh, I mean, what, what are these blood packs for? I can't sell them. I could buy stuff. Um, but I can't say that I want any of this either. What is this guy doing? Okay, go ahead. All right, I like your uh, face, dude. It's really cool. Uh, hmm, there's a steamer trunk in here. Ooh, Savage Divide treasure map number 10. Cool, look at this. Ah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you remember that place? Yeah. Oh, I totally remember that, yeah. Rounds, whoops, that's not the right button to press. Frag grenade, and I'll leave it in the back of furniture. Here's some metal left arm and two more money. Oh my gosh, I need to find a place to scrap all this stuff because I have a ton of crap to scrap. Did that guy leave? It's creeping me out, man. I'm here to tell you right now. Here's the wonder glue. We need adhesive. I hear him still walking around with his flamethrower. I hear him. So, uh, we're supposed to talk to the Huntmaster of Black Bear Lodge. This daily quest we've got. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Welcome to the Black I wonder if Bear you can hear Lodge, this. A family-friendly hunting club. I am the Huntmaster for Black Bear Lodge. You must be here to sign up for the tournament. Very well. I'll add your name to the rolls. Each hunter is given three animals to track and kill. We've had a recent influx of new species, so don't be surprised when you see your list. I've marked some hunting grounds for you, but any kill made anywhere will count. <laughs> oh, okay. So up in the upper right-hand corner, you can see that I've got this quest called D uh, Big Game Hunter, and it looks like we have 24 hours to do it. 24 hours in which to kill a Yao Guai, a Rad Toad, and a Super Mutant. Well, I'm not going to go out of my way to do that stuff. If I come across them and I kill them, well then fine, that's great. I am the Huntmaster 4000. I manage all the game animals for the Black Bear Lodge. Okay. What the hell was that? Can I still see? Yeah, he's still... What's going on out here? I, um... Oh, uh, old possum in that metal box. Oh, I think that's a, a beer or a liquor or something. That's what that is. Not actually an old possum. Um, I keep saying this, but it, it doesn't make any less true. I need to find a bench to uh, scrap some stuff. <laughs> Hopefully there's one in here somewhere. What's going on in here? Uh, not a whole lot. So we've already been in here. Piano, TV. There's some scary looking stuff here. Look at this thing. So, is that thing moving? Yeah, I guess I'm moving. I don't know, I mean, it looked like it was moving to me. But I guess these are some of the things that we're gonna find in this game. What the hell is that thing? Moldy food. Um, let me just stick my head out here. I don't see any benches. Let's go upstairs. Hmm. Hunting target has been killed by someone else. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. 
More st oh, there's just nothing in that ammo box. What the hell, man? I feel I feel ripped off. I want my money back. How's that for s scary looking? Pretty creepy, right? Is it moving? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything in here? There is. And uh, this is here. We're here to repair the Black Bear Lodge check-in terminal. And this is it right here. So let's see what's involved with uh, fixing this thing, shall we? Let's see. Repair Black Bear Lodge check-in. Oh, a screw and some circuitry. Sure, why not? Ta-da! Completed. We repaired the Black Bear Lodge check-in terminal. Now we can use it. Command Black Bear Hunting Lodge Automated Check-In System. Enter personal information. Oh, here is your garbage personal information. If this is not correct, please press back. Uh, overnight stay. Guests are served breakfast in the lounge. Extra towels and pillows may be requested at the front desk. Noise-canceling headphones are available upon request. Okay. And events. Saturday, we offer squirrel shooting lessons. Children may pick their own squirrels from the cages out back. Oh, my. Sunday is Poacher's Prayer Day. We hold a morning prayer vigil for poachers. In the afternoon, we patrol for them. BYOG, which I'm assuming stands for Bring Your Own Gun, free ammo is provided. Monday is the beginning of the weekly hunting tournament. Kill lists are available at the front desk. Thursday, there is a songbird identification seminar. <laughs> 22 ammo or smaller only. Oh, they identify the birds and they shoot them. Friday, we wrap up the hunting tournament. Taxidermy is half off for any trophy over 25 pounds. Well, yippee yahoo. Yikes. We repaired the terminal. Unfortunately, I'm still not finding a workbench. No, sir, I am not. Well, let's hope that there's one upstairs. Oh, hi. Hey, stop shooting at me. Stop it. It's rude. Take that stuff off of you before you even hit the ground. Crap, man, there's no benches around here. I mean, I am, I am seriously over encumbered. I'm not kidding either. You might think I'm joking, but I'm not. I mean, I have to leave these vases behind, man. I don't know if this is one of the Addison brothers or whatever their name was. Oh, some psycho, yeah, yeah. Suitcase, sure, why not? Let's unlock it. Oh, hey, my old. Nice. Oh, goody, a cigar box, though, thank you. Uh, let's see if I can balance my way over there. It was quite easy, actually. Well, um, I mean, I guess I'll take the dog tags, because maybe I could recycle them, but, uh, yeah. Well, I did not want to fall all the way down there. Um, hmm. Well, uh, I am really bummed that, uh, not finding any table. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to build a camp, aren't I? But, I mean, even building a camp, I don't know. I got to build a camp. I gotta move my camp over here. I don't think there's any question about it. More dog tags, sure, why not? Whoa. I don't like it. Don't like it when you do that. Well. Let's see if I can't uh, build a camp. Or maybe there's a workbench out here. Let's go see. It's possible. Ooh. Look at this. Power armor. Huh. Well, how do you like that? And here's a cooking station. That's not what I was looking for, because I can't scrap anything at a cooking station. Um, food I could make. Uh, rad rat steak. I could make quite a few of these, actually. 
And that'll do it for that. And then healing. See, healing. Soot flower. All I have is toxic soot flower. Plants. Soot flower herb paste. Well, this also requires... Oh, this... Oh, look at this. This requires toxic soot flower. Okay, soot flower. So, that at least tells me that they are indeed separate things. Huh. Alright. So, as far as drinks go, all I can make right now is boiled water. And that's fine. Because once you make boiled, waters, uh, boiled water, it opens up a bunch of other things. Now, we go into healing again, and I need soot flower. Disease, disease cure, I don't need... Well, why does it say forest, anyway? What is that all about? I don't know. So many mysteries, so many questions. So few answers. Um, yeah, so let's see. Tato juice, 22%, 15%. Melon juice, so these all give me 22. This also gives me a little bit of health regen. Pretty cool, right? Let's get some melon juice going up in here. And also some tato juice. Alright, well there you go. That's exciting, right? I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Um, so, as you can see here, we got some power armor that I can enter. Perhaps this will help me carry some of this ridiculous load I've got. Okay, well, enter it already. Uh, remove high level power armor pieces to use this power frame. Oh, why don't you remove it? Uh, transfer. Transfer this crap into my inventory. So, now what am I going to do? Am I going to be walking around with two suits of power armor in my inventory? Is that what I'm going to be doing? I'm still over encumbered, which should be no surprise. <laughs> Look how much crap I'm carrying around, man. Sheesh. So much crap. So very much crap. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to build a camp. Oh, there's four camps in there. I want those. Um, let's get some water. I don't want to drink it. I just want to collect it. Oh, dirty water in it. Okay. So you have to wait a moment. See that? I mean, I guess that's to keep you from doing it indefinitely. Looks like it's a pretty good, pretty cool boat right there behind me, right? Look at the engine on that thing. Now I'm adding all this dirty water, which is just weighing even more. Whoa. Oh, look at this. I'm not touching a single button on my controller. On my controller, on my keyboard. That guy's just walking around, man. So... Hot tub here. This guy, I guess, died what he died doing what he loved. I got some what look like speakers to me here. I don't see a radio connected to him or anything. A uh, bunch of dough out back here. Um, I guess this is a kind of an outhouse kind of thing. I guess. And uh, there's a satellite dish on top of the house there. Got a little, like a tent back here. I thought I saw it. Oh yeah, a target. There's some target practice here. Nothing in the tent. Man, I'm carrying around a lot of weight. Well. I do believe... Oh, what is that big arch thing back there? Do you see that? What is that? Look at my map here. Oh, weird. Whatever I'm looking at is not on the map. Interesting. And what was this? Is this another person? Lady Pleaser 69. <laughs> Alright. Okay, if you say so. Uh, I need to uh, build me a camp so that I could do some scrappy... Scrappy wappy. Let's bring this up. Let us move our camp. It's going to cost me some money, but that's okay. I'm rich. Actually, I have no idea. Oh, I can put my camp right here. Plop. I moved my camp. It cost me ten things to move. 
And did I put, I think I just put my camp right next to a radioactive place. Oh, jeez. I don't want my camp to be there. Man. Even if I just wanted to... Alright. Even if I just wanted to simply move my camp a few feet away, it's going to cost me ten more uh, things here. So this sucks. Oh, well. I'm the worst. Build... Um, this is uh, a weapons workbench. I'm just going to plop that down here real quick. And, um, deal with the rads. Get back out of that. Scrap items, scrap all junk. Gosh, it only got me down to 297. Good grief, man. Compensated armor piercing 10 millimeter pistol. Well, it doesn't do any more damage than the pistol I've got now, but... Well, it doesn't have the range either, but I normally don't use pistols for range, so... I'm gonna go ahead and scrap this guy and keep this guy. That's right. Um... Sheesh. I hate that all this rads are coming at me now. That was so dumb. I, ca I can't think. I can't think. I need to move away from this. This is too distracting. I, I have to spend the extra 10 caps. I'm sorry, I have to. It's there. You can see I put a lot of thought into this. <laughs> oh, that was an interesting little sound effect there. Uh, build. And, you know, put this right here. Nice safe place <laughs> for my camp. Okay, there, here we go. Now let me let me do a little bit of thinking here. Um, what? No, no, no. Uh, I want to. Um, oh, I need to get out of here. Now I can go in here. Scrap items. Okay, so I got this pistol, and then uh, let me uh, look at the armor that I've got. Actually, let me step out of this armor. Fusion core. Yoink. Alright. Uh, scrap. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what I'm doing here. I'll figure it out. What I want to do is make sure I'm wearing the uh, best armor I can wear. Like, I've got this heavy leather left arm, but I've also got a metal left arm. Well, the metal left arm is actually lighter. So I haven't come across any electrical damage, so I'm going to go with this. As far as the right arm goes, I've got this one, which gives me seven. I've got this one, which gives me five, so this one's already better. Okay. Uh, what about my left leg? I've got this metal left leg thing here. I mean, I also have sturdy leather left arm. Okay, nope, that's not good. Right or right arm. Okay, and then uh, that's my left leg, and then my right leg... What do I got on my right leg? Do I not have anything on my right leg? I don't have anything on my right leg. I must have accidentally scrapped that at some point. Speaking of scrapping things, I'm going to scrap this stuff. I'll get more of it later. Alright, so... <laughs> I thought there was somebody standing there. scrappity do. Uh, so scrap. Ooh. Machine gun. Interesting. Should I keep the machine gun? Or this. They both do 15 damage. This thing has a fire rate of 52. This thing has a fire rate of 91. This might be fun. Let's just do that. I don't know. Why did it make that noise? What's... What? What's wrong? What? Oh, I guess I'm thirsty and it's hurting me? Did you hear my guy? He was like... Crying. Um... Melon juice. Drink a bit of that. Mute fruit juice. Alright. Not real sure what my guy's problem was there. And actually, I didn't even notice that I built an armor workbench and not a um, weapons workbench, but it doesn't matter at all. It's all the same. Uh, so I'm hanging on to this thing now. This thing I'm going to get rid of. Boy, it sure is cool, but I just don't have the... Gosh, it's really neat. But you know I'm going to find more of these later. Uh, look at this. This one does more damage because it's level 10. Okay. 
How do I level up my weapons? I got two power armor chassises. I don't need to. We'll scrap one of those. I got this combat knife. I'm never going to use this. This combat, this rifle, we'll find it again. You can go ahead and disagree with what I'm doing. That's fine. I mean, golly, all that stuff I just got rid of and I'm still at 167. Man. Carry around this gas mask because I feel like it's something that I'm going to need. Prevents damage and disease from airborne hazards. It feels like it's something important. Doesn't weigh that much either. So, I mean, give me a break. I'm still at 167. What the heck am I carrying that weighs that much? It just... I guess it's all these, um, you know... All this aid that I'm carrying around. It's just ridiculous, all this stuff I've got. Nothing has rotted. But uh, this stuff must weigh... Oh, no, here... Oh, spoiled. I've been looking for rotted, but it's spoiled I need to look at. I mean, dropping all those really doesn't do a whole lot. Um, but yeah. I mean, I guess I could just, like, eat some stuff. What's the heaviest thing I've got to eat? Could sort by weight. So all these weigh one. I don't I don't want this. Um okay, Meyer Lurk meat. There we go. Let's eat some of this. I'm I'm hungry. Whoop. Oh. Oh, I think I just drank some dirty water, damn it. Uh okay. And then um go here to my uh rat away. Take one of these. Oh, interesting. My health goes up, too. Hmm, I didn't know it would do that. Okay. Well, there you have it. Let's go see what this is. I really want to know. What could that be? Boy, it is nasty out here. Very radioactive. Those toxic barrels down there. What the heck is this? I I'm wondering if I could get to it. Like if it's in the game world or, or if it's not. Let's go. Let's see how close we can get to it. Pretty nervous about it though. I mean, this could be dangerous. Super Mutant Skirmishers. <laughs> what is this thing? What is this thing, man? How bizarre. Huh. Whoa. Whoop. What's up, dude? Oh, gosh. Did he see me? I guess he did. Although it said sneak attack. Makes me think that he didn't see me. Those guys over there are walking around like they don't know I'm here. Wow, what do you think that was? Looks like something that fell from space. It says Valiant. You see it over there? Say Valiant? Valiant. Valiant. Whoa. Interesting. Let's see if we can get around here. It's not on my map at all. This is what I love about these games, just finding stuff like this. I'm so happy there's stuff like this in this game. Sure is noisy. Huh, it's the super mutant going down inside of it. Ooh, it's level 16 super mutant fighter. What is this? What the hell? Oh, it's a possum. Go away, possum. I'll leave you alone. You leave me alone, all right? We got an agreement? Do we? You're not following me, are you? This is kind of far. I probably cannot hit him from here. Look at the crater this thing made. Whatever the heck it is. Hmm. Let's see if we can get to this piece over here. Let's see what the heck this is.
And it's cool looking from every angle. Oh, there must be some scorched here also, because there's one of those petrified things seem to be around the scorched. See if we can get down on this thing. Oh yeah. What the hell is this? Looks like it's built into the ground. More uh, super mutants over there. Hmm, this is dangerous. I don't see an easy way to get into this thing, whatever it is. Drop down here. Huh. What in the world? Whoa, what is this? Look at him, he's reaching for the door. Warning, hydraulic locks. 9,900 pounds pressure. Whoa. This is neat. Was this a vault? I don't think this is a vault, is it? Oh wow, I did get some stuff from him. I got canned dog food, but for some reason it takes two rounds from me. Does anybody understand that? Why did I lose two rounds? Two 308 rounds. Didn't seem to interact with that. Huh. Let's see, watch. Let's see if I get anything. Uh, no, from that guy, I didn't get anything. Hm. Well, got some bad news for you, everybody. If you notice what time it is, you see that it is time for me to end this episode. So, I'm just going to hang out in this place. We'll see where the game starts me out next time. It'd be awesome if it started me out right here. Uh, but we all know that it's not going to do that. Hopefully it won't start me out too far away. So come back next time find out where I start out. Is this thing upside down? Is that... Was that... It is upside down, yeah. Because that's... Writing's upside down. So whatever this is or was is upside down. There was a walkway up there. Well, cool. Next episode we'll explore this thing a little bit more. See if we can make some sense out of it. I hope you'll join me then. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know about leaving a like or a comment. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you again in the next episode.